Big trucks, big trucks, big trucks everywhere. Okay, so another episode na naman tayo. But today, wala tayo masyadong destination. Pag-iikot-ikot lang tayo dito sa metro. Kasi syempre, marami rin na mga interesting spots dito sa Vanilla. So, <laughs> kung napapanood nyo to, malamang tapos na yung 22 ng July. <laughs> ano meron sa 22 ng July? Well, that was supposed to be the date for the uh, banning of sub 400cc bikes on Osmeña Highway. And somehow it got lifted. <laughs> I'm not sure if it got lifted for real or it just delayed or what. But uh, the time of Matayan, the deep in Atensha. Okay, so today is uh, Thursday, Webes. <laughs> So kanina maaraw, ngayon, eh, sige na. Hi. <laughs> ngayon, eh, sobrang araw na kanina, eh, sobrang uh, makulimlim at maulan. And my God, we're stuck in traffic. Alright. So dito tayo sa West Ham. On the way to Araneta Avenue and then uh, we'll go all the way to Osmania Highway then go to Taguig. So yun nga no. If naalala nyo yung videos na ginawa ko dati, may, may one episode ako nakalimutan ko saan. Yun nga tayo yung kasama ko si Ed. Yung pinix namin tong uh, signal light. ng GSXR parang nasabi ko ron diba na uh, small bikes like what we are using has a limit diba bukod sa CC limitation mo sa speed performance of course may limit din there's a limit on the highways that you can use here in the country hey what do you plan on doing dude So yun nga, di ba? So unless you have a 400cc above bike, you're free to do whatever you want to do. Kaya dito sa atin, parang naging status symbol na eh. Kapag naka big bike ka, yes, of course, it's mahal. And uh, yes, may pambili ka ng big bike. Yes, may pang toll gate ka. <laughs> Unlike sa other countries eh, any bikes, di ba? Pwede ka kahit saan. Wala naglilimit sa'yo. Oh my god, it's traffic again. And you know guys, uh, alam natin na uh, we hate fucking traffic. So I, I'm, I'm gonna cut the video and jump to you right away once we are at Osmeña or at Renata Avenue. I'll be back to you in 3, 2, 1. Pero lumawag yung traffic. <laughs> so I'm back. <laughs> okay, so yun nga no. Yung limits natin sa small bikes. Well, small bikes are affordable. It has become a part of our uh, everyday daily lives, of course. Diba? You serve it for work. You can uh, use it going on a weekend ride as well. Group rides. There's a lot of groups nowadays that you can join that has uh, bikes or that caters to uh, different types of bikes that uh, we can use. Diba? There's a lot of options. wala lang na option sa atin ay yung paggamit ng highway so unless you're on a bigger bike unless you're on a bigger bike then you have the freedom to choose <laughs> yun nga nakakalaban mo sa big bike eh traffic <laughs> Mahirap sumingit-singit kapag malaki yung bike na dala mo. Well, totoo yan, di ba? Itong sa atin nga lang, medyo hirap pa tayo sa traffic eh. What more pa yung mas malaki dito, di ba? E, 
if alam niyo tong lugar na to, alam niyo na siguro kung ano tong up ahead, di ba? <laughs> But if not, let me give you a quick tour of Santa Mesa's Mod Mod section. <laughs> Ligaya. Oh, Rose Garden. Wow. <laughs> Hotels. Gardenia. And ito trip, guys, or trick. Kanyari, may BR kayo, di ba? May backride kayo. Mag-left kayo dito sa Princeton Court. Ayahin nyo, kanyari, sabihin nyo, check-in kayo. <laughs> you know why? Kasi this is a shortcut. See there? There you go. <laughs> so that's a shortcut that you could use instead of uh, having a U-turn there at the far the side of the street. So pag pumayag, <laughs> so power ka na dun sa gitna bago mo ilabas, di ba? <laughs> Pero hindi, kung hindi, syempre diretsya mo, labas kayo. <laughs> I'm just joking guys. That's just a uh, part of my green humor thingy. Eh. So please bear with me and don't imitate what I'm doing. <laughs> or what I'm suggesting and look at the beauty of this place oh yeah hi guys I know this is the oil depot the Pandakan oil depot And look at another extension of the uh, SLX uh, or the Skyway. Yeah, kita nyo naman, di ba? Yan yung mga dadaanan. Yeah, that's the oil depot. So, ginagala ako na naman kayo dito sa Kalakhang, Maynila. <laughs> okay, so malapit-lapit na tayo sa Ospenya, guys. Konting hintay na lang. After this straight. We're gonna make a U-turn. U-turn? U-turn? <laughs> I like that one better. U-turn. <laughs> U-turn. Okay guys, so medyo traffic tong portion ng kalsada na to eh. Hanggang sa Quirino. Ay, Quirino. Sa Osmeña. <laughs> so, magnanor-manor tayo hanggang makasingi tayo and makahanap ng open road. And uh, we'll see if there are some uh, few clips that's good enough to be shown to you guys while we're stuck in traffic. <laughs> But I'm gonna open up my visor first because it's freaking my init. Woo, it's fucking my init. Alam mo yung nagsisisi ka na ngayon ka lumabas. Kasi kanina makulimlim, akala ko uulan pa. And uh, I thought it's not worth it to show you a rainy ride. Di ba? Along, uh, around the metro. Kasi parang hindi maganda. Kasi traffic na nga, maulan pa. Di ba? So wala ka nang... Wala ka nang... Wala ka nang gagawin. Ngayon naman, napakainit. Hindi tayo... Hindi na nga tayo naka-gear. Super init pa. God, tirik na tirik ang araw. Because look guys, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And we're out. Uh, sa so tapat talaga ang araw. Siya lang ang mag-iisang tapat sa mundo. Kung gusto niya ng faithful loyal, hindi mala Gerard. Gerald Anderson ah, kay araw ka na lang <laughs> joke lang guys stay out tayo sa showbiz ayaw nating uh, mabahira ng show business sa ating channel alright so we're now filtering along with man I don't wanna filter beside that big truck It might got sucked in from its tires and those are big God, nakakapawing talaga kapag naka-open ang visor mo at katabi mo o sinusundan mo ay mga truck. Bakas makapasok ng dumi sa visor. Big trucks, big trucks, big trucks everywhere.
Alright guys, so ito yung link galing sa EDSA. So if you're from EDSA, you're gonna make a U-turn out of here to go down there, going to south. And that's where we usually go. Nila to para sa sa 400, uh, bike. So you see how good the highway is, eh, diba? And uh, it gets you from point to point. Eh. If you're from uh, Edsa, you're going somewhere in the south. You could use this one. You could use this road. You could definitely use it. So my thoughts there initially is, uh, sana wag na ipagbawal, diba? Kasi ang dami nagbe-benefit dito eh, di ba? Saka hindi lang naman ang mga small bike owners ang uh, pasaway dito, di ba? Big bike owners din, saka mga four-wheel drivers, di ba? Lahat naman may pasaway eh. Lahat may bugok. So sana wag i-limit sa, ano lang, sa small bikes lang. Parang discrimination nga kasi kung, sabi, kung uh, sabihin o yun nga yung tawag na iba, di ba? Parang nadidiscriminate masyado ang small bike. Okay, yun lang guys! Dito na tayo dito sa C5 So So napapanaan nyo tayo eh Kakatapos lang ng ating uh, Treasure Mountain episode Sana nag enjoy kayo sa Treasure Mountain episode At kung nag enjoy din kayo At nagustuhan nyo ang content natin For this episode Don't forget to hit that like button And kung bago kayo sa channel ko Hello everyone Ako ulit si MJ short for Mang Jose <laughs> na, hindi Mang Jose MJ lang talaga joke lang yung Mang Jose <laughs> okay so yun nga kung nagustuhan nyo to kung bago kayo sa channel ko ngayon kalala nyo na ako hit that subscribe button <laughs> and click the bell icon na rin guys para maratify kayo for upcoming videos and uh, updates para sa ating uh, channel yun lang guys nandito tayo sa Simag ganun pong mas hiziks ang ating next episode ito na ang aking chance magsabi sa inyo na babus okay guys I'm back and if napapanood nyo to eh, tapos na ang video <laughs> so ito ang um, Outro <laughs> So one of these days Magsushoot din tayo ng gabi dito no? Sa C5 kasi okay siya Pero bago yan Sneak peek <laughs> Sneak peek ko na Short news Teaser <laughs> Tawag dito parinig Magkakaroon tayo ng episode Aayusin natin to Yung bike natin Target natin Is mafix na yung harap So hindi pa tayo Ma-order ng replacement headlight Saka parts So target natin is maayos yung bike Kasi balak natin palitan ng uh, valves Yung harap Ng projector type na mas malakas sa gabi Para hindi mahirap uh, bumiyahe Kasi kapag gabi Pansin nyo naman siguro sa ibang videos is Sobrang dilim ba? So papalitan natin yan ng mas malakas Okay and syempre gagawin din natin Ang episode dyan yung the making ng ating Ah uh, yung how to make a fiberglass customization for your GSXR 150. So abangan nyo yan guys. Para na rin yan sa channel. Nabuka dyan yung C6 episode natin. At kung pinapanood nyo pa rin to, thank you sa inyong support. Ha. Yan na. Ito na. Totoo na to. Tabush.